Well, good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to the uh, Kosher Wine Review. I'm Yoshua Worth. Today, we're going to be doing dueling cabs. What's a dueling cab? Well, we can do a little pun to start the day. So, what's the uh, pun? The key to the pun is, you know those trucks you use to tow like um, horses or you use, you use uh, to do construction sites. It has two sets of wheels on the back end of both sides. What does it do? It helps distribute the weight. It helps put more power to the ground. It helps you support something on top of it being pulled behind. Today we're doing dueling cabs. By the way, those are called dualies. These two particular Cabernet Sauvignons are definitely um, on fire in the market right now. They have been re recording scores that are off the charts. This one for 30 years. These are 90 point wines, like straight up. Cab, 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 cab. It is the flagship of the Golan Heights winery. The Secret Reserve cab from uh, Shiloh is the flagship of the wine. Not these aren't necessarily their best wines. They make a whole bunch of different expressions. Mosaic uh, special, special Edition is probably the considered the top tier of the Shiloh winery. And the Yarden, like Yanatan, Ram, or Katsurin Reds, the whites are awesome too, are considered... Uh, I'm going to take you to the dentist appointment first. Yeah. So, we're live. We're not doing any editing. So, children are around too. All right. So, let's stop with, start with the Sheila cap. This is 18 months in uh, f the finest French oak barrels. And we're using three different glasses here. Breakfast is served. So, Shiloh Winery, the winemaker is Amichai Luri, and the area is known as Shiloh, the place of the Mishkan, the tabernacle, or the historical first transportation device and prayer place um, before the temples were built, or the Beis Amitashim, in Eretz Yisrael, Eretz Kodesh, or Israel. This is uh, the place of the Mishkan. In fact, if you look at the cool graphic, it shows like a bull pulling the building through a field of grapes that's actually Hebrew characters. We opened this up last night because these young babies, 2017s, of which this one has 15% alcohol, are little babies. And they need to breathe. And they need to relax. And they need to grow up. A year or two on the ground, probably on their belly, is the best way to go. Yeah. Mommy, I'm just doing a review. I'll be done in about two minutes, okay? Okay. Dense. Full wine. It's got some power. Dark fruits with a red tinge, we'll call it. Woods, tar, a little bit of a, um, hmm, almost like a caramel thing up in the background. It's like the caramel and you get like squeeze like a piece of fruit up inside of that. Not, not, not necessarily a candy, but pretty cool. So interesting. When I tasted these last night to do a written review of them early, they told everybody you need to age them, you need to let them breathe, whatever. It didn't express the fruit as well as it does today. 
I didn't let these breathe out. I let them, you know, about an hour maybe, and then popped the cork on, and then um, am at it this morning, about six eight hour, about six hours later. Even the owner of the winery, I'll be right with you. I'm on. There's a video for people all over the world. Okay, and I don't want you to come on it. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just be right with you, my beautiful daughter. So, the fruit expression is much more profound. The way the tannic structure of the wine flows across your mouth is much smoother and easier. Definitely, it's got some grip. Again, these wines are real babies. Like this is more of a future scope. Um, the owner of the winery says, open up Thursday night, take the cork off, pour a little bit of wine out, taste it after an hour or two, and then drink the wine for Shabbos Kiddush 24 hours later. Maybe a little less than 24 hours. So, patience, history, and uh, good vibes all around. It's a powerful one. It's got a lot of body to it. Definitely has uh, some big acid. Incredible for some meat dishes that are juicy and fatty. Could do some saucy pasta dishes. Um, but back it up with some like hearty vegetables and mushrooms. And uh, let's give it one more taste. Kind of You could even just do a simple juicy burger with some great herbs going on. All right, moving on. Shilo, Secret Reserve, Cabernet 2017, Future Scope. All right. Dump out the glasses. Dueling caps, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, Cabernet Sauvignon is not my favorite grape. I'm not the guy that only wants a Cabernet Sauvignon when I walk into a store. It's just not necessarily the thing that attracts me to wine. There's 3,000 grapes that they make wine from in the world. I've redundantly been stating that for years now. And I think the narrowness of only looking at that grape probably has to do with it's one of the best hybrids. The Cabernet Franc Sauvignon Blanc parents that it has express themselves pretty awesomely. It's definitely the backbone of a lot of Bordeaux wines. A lot of good Israeli wines. It is the central grape of the California, Northern California growing. Um, and I get it. I get it. Okay, so we're rinsed out. This is the Yarden 2017 Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, it has 14.5% alcohol, 18 months also in a French oak barrels. So we have two different regions of Israel uh, with the same amount of oak and the same grape. Now mind you, these are probably not the same hybrids. I'm pretty sure about that. There's one there. Cool. Good. Let's give it a sniff. E sniff. Thank you, Gary. You ever have someone make you like that beautiful mulch with the wood? Fresh, you know, it's like, it's cured a little while, it's got a little dirt inside. You pick it up and you're setting your garden up and you give it a, in the glass. This is a nice minerality to it. It's like a cross between that brook, your pencil, and um, just kind of walking along a stony path. Minerality is great in wine. It works wonderful with foods. A lot of you are scared of like, oh, it's minerally? That's kind of weird. Acid? Ooh, I don't know about that. When you pair it with food, it's the ultimate. Don't miss these elements. Big, powerful, dense, dark fruit. I've never had either one of these vintages. I've never tasted these wines until last night. So I'm not like doing this like whole cheat sheet, like I've tasted these a thousand times going, oh, it's just like this. You know, reading notes, I don't read notes. So. <laughs> exactly, there's my daughter cheering me on. What are you eating? You almost get like a creamed wood. 
I'll call it. And I don't mean sweet. What are you doing? I'm doing a wine video, honey. You gotta stay off the camera for one second and I'll come hang out with you, okay? Give him a kiss. We're reviewing a wine from the Golan or the Galil region of Israel. Chaim Rocha. Mm. So interesting. This one is just as present of tannin, but it doesn't grip quite as much. Both wines are extraordinarily smooth. At ten seconds, and um, they both coat totally differently. Fruits totally different expression. The Yarden, we'll call it dueling cabs now. The Yarden is a softer on the tongue. Just as full of body. The Shilo has just as much, a little more present tannin feel, a little more acid feel. The Arden has just as much acid. The residual flavors are equally as long, but yet the Yarden is a little softer in the way it expresses itself. These are two fine examples of Cabernet Sauvignon from Eretz Yisrael that are both receiving ridiculous scores, incredible feedback, and on the ground people are like, yeah, that's the one I enjoy. So if you want to have some dueling cabs, you want to set yourself up for something special for your table to do a comparative of different regions of Israel and the grape nose Cabernet Sauvignon, here are some winners for your day. I'm Yoshua Worth, live at the household. <laughs> this is the Kosher Wine Review.